We're letting the voices of the dead babies um, promote and speak for themselves, you know, about there's 60,000 abortions every single year in Texas yeah. and nobody cares. They don't try to make it illegal. Can I give you one of these to show you? Sure. So, so I mean, so what? So you think abortion should be illegal? No, it should be illegal. Okay, so I don't understand. Why are you protesting here? Well, because it's a pro-life church, yeah. and we're not pro-life. We're abolitionists. We sh pro lifeism says when, where, and how you can murder babies. They've never put forth a bill to say it should be illegal to kill babies. So what we say is godly men need to stand up and oppose the pro-life movement, make laws that are good and right, and make abortion illegal. Don't regulate it. We don't regulate sin. Sin's bad. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, go, I go to this church and uh -huh. we, I mean, we're, I, I think the terminology, the pro-life thing. Is, uh, well, it's true. Know. You, you know, you guys you know, weren't. Nobody here that I know supports abortion. Okay. No, I think it's the most hideous. Okay, so how do, you, how do you help to make it illegal though? Well, I, I mean, you have to talk with your with people that's in power, unfortunately. They're the ones who are promoting abortion. Okay, but your church actually knows, your pastor actually knows about HB 948, right. I think it was. They weren't there. They weren't representing. They didn't tell their congregants, hmm. all right? You know what the number one plank of the Texas Republican Party is right now? No. I, yeah, of course you don't know because they're not telling you because they don't, the well, pro-life I mean, movement you know, doesn't want I, people to know. I don't know, but I mean, but, but you know, the liberals make it so... Uh, hard to talk about politics inside the church. I mean, they're trying to. They're definitely it's trying not the to. liberals. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> that the know, pastors I mean, know what's right and wrong. No, I know. You know? But, so but, it, but you know how liberals are trying to silence Christians? From the liberals aren't the problems. The problem, the problem, no. Do you know that every single You're Supreme Court me. justice, every single Supreme Court justice that voted to make Roe v. Wade legal was put in place by pro-life supported pro-life Republican yeah. pre presidents. Every single, you know, the only one that didn't um, vote for Roe v. Wade, he was a Democrat. Now I'm not a Democrat, okay? I'm not, in fact, I'm not even a Republican. I follow Jesus Christ and His rule. Right. Me too. All right. And, and I just, I just, I don't know. I think it's, it's, you know, there are people who were, you're a Christian, right? Correct. Okay. There are kids who were coming here to be baptized today, and they yeah. had to see all that. And and I, and and I agree that actually everyone in the country should see all of that uh -huh. to see how horrific abortion is right. and how. It's, it's how a civilized hey, society has with the bull. You know, you get that it's, it's it's stunning that a civilized society could right. could say that's okay. And that religious men wouldn't try to make it illegal. I, I understand, I understand, but I mean, you know, they should make it illegal. Here, let me. Where's that big flyer? The one that talks about Texas. Who has one of those? I mean, so, I, I don't I don't disagree with you that it needs that it needs to go away. I mean, right. I completely agree. Well, everybody that it says needs they're pro life, but they don't do anything to make it illegal. Like you guys have a crisis pregnancy center here. Right. It yeah. doesn't talk about God at all anywhere. You go study the page, but what it does say is, do you know that abortions? I, I, I because I, I get I get I get uh, I get, one, I, um, well, I, get up, I get right. updates on my phone anytime somebody comes there. We all pray for the person, right? And and it is amazing. and helping people is good. But it should, but literally, it says on your site that um, abortion, uh, the farther along the woman is, the more it costs to have an abortion. So come in early and get a sonogram. We'll give you a sonogram so you can see, so you can make that choice. And what are the choices? Abortion, parenting, or adoption? Right. I mean, but uh, but I, I I think that if they say right up front, you know, don't get an abortion, you know, but come here you're going to lose half the people that come here. I mean, there are so many abortion-minded women that show up that change their mind. And if they didn't have the chance, if they knew right from the start that, oh, this is an anti-abortion place, then they, they would never show up. That, well, I, mean, I, I, I think that's They're going fine. to a church's abortion clinic, or a crisis pregnancy center. Right. They know that. They know it's Preston Wood. Not all or, of them do. Or, Not everybody knows what Preston Wood Pregnancy Center is. I mean, it's just because it's right. down in the Preston Wood area. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, they, they and, probably think. And helping good. women yeah. and kids is good. Like I got six yeah. foster kids here that we adopted. Yeah. That's good, right? Absolutely. That's good. I mean, my daughter, my daughter, we adopted because her her birth mother went to the Preston Wood Pregnancy Center and chose life. Right. So it's good to help mothers and kids. We both agree. But we should also make it illegal. The number one plank for the I, Texas Republican I, I, Party I, I, is I to. I agree with you 100% that yeah. abortion should, should never happen. Yeah. But we should do something to make it illegal. Yeah, I mean, That's what I'm saying. 
Like we don't. Yeah, I, I understand. I just don't think protesting at a church is the place. Well, to be. we are, do. We go to good people and ask for help, or we go to evil, wicked people and ask for help. Well, I mean, there's good. There's there's ways to to ask good people. Standing out there with those where these little kids are it's, going it's, into church. It's over is, sixty million, and that's not including Plan B. It's a horrific holocaust where everybody just I, wants I to go to a I nice know. church where millions of dollars is spent every year uh hundreds of thousands is just spent on the grass you know i mean the it's, landscaping I mean, it's, it's and nobody's trying to make it illegal well i wouldn't say what that it, nobody's trying to make it illegal what, I, well i think that we we just disagree on method well there's no method that you guys are doing uh, i know I, all the legal methods that are happening you guys are involved in it, in any of it. In fact, no churches are in Texas. They're just I not. That. I know five or six pastors, mm -hmm. okay, that actually do try to make it illegal. There, right. There's none here. They're, they're not in Austin. They're not telling you about the number one plank. They're not saying, hey, we need to support this bill. They're not saying, hey, call Tenderholt. You know, they're not doing those things. The things that they could do to make it illegal. I mean, there's like 900 people that showed up to Austin. Right. That's it. We have 30,000 churches, 70,000 pastors. Right. We have 13,000 kids in foster care right now waiting to, to be adopted, but nobody wants them because they're not babies. We're not loving God and loving our neighbor. That's what the Bible says, the number one thing. So I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just saying no, no, being no, pro-life isn't I, enough. I understand. <laughs> I understand. You're, you're, I, yeah. That's why I stopped here because I wanted to understand yeah. what you're, you're saying. Yeah. You know, I, don't, yeah. I don't disagree with and I'm, you. And I'm not mad at you. No, I'm not mad you at know? you either. I mean, yeah. you know, I just saw on our Facebook page there, it... it um, this morning, it, man, it gave you guys all some bad press, you know. Right. You're standing out here with pictures of. They kicked Jesus out of the party. temple. Yeah. They uh, kicked well, Jesus out. No, they no, were going to stone him. You know. Page, you know? Yeah. Um, no, I understand. But I'm glad people are like looking at it and say, "Oh, those guys are bad. Why are they bad? Well, they have dead baby pictures. Why are they standing out there with dead baby pictures? It makes people think and talk about it, right? right? So we have over 100 abolitionist societies throughout the United States now. You know, four years ago, we had like one. Right. So people are waking up and saying, hey, look, we should help babies and we should help women, but we should make this illegal. The church is, the bride of Christ is rising up. The Bible says, woe to you that make iniquitous decrees. So if you support like a 20 day ban, that's wicked. Like nobody should, no Christian, and only Christians are doing this, is saying, hey, we should make a bill that says, after 20 weeks, we can't kill the baby. Well, I, I think that's it, wrong. It, no, I, I know it's wrong, but I think some people are trying to at least save some of them right. on the way to saving all of them. Yeah, but you know, it's I mean, 40 because, something years. Oh, I know. 60 I know. million. I, believe me, I know. We I need mean, to stop being incremental. We need to stop making laws where we, where we compromise I know, I with know, the devil but, for God. But unfortunately, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, we can't pass a law that says no abortion because the Supreme Court will just knock it down. I mean, they're just having to. So what? The Supreme Court said that black people are only three fifths human. I, I know. So I we know. say, no, you are evil and I wicked. Know. What if they said, okay, the Supreme Court says you can't own a gun. Would you do anything about that? I yes, mean, you it's would. Just, it's just the, the spineless people in Washington. Stop being spineless. Well, I'm, 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 you know, I need I, to stop I, being spineless. They need to stop being spineless. I we need understand. to stand up for God and I do what's right no matter what. If we go to jail, elected, it doesn't matter. We need to just do what's right. Are, are we elect them. I know. I didn't elect... I didn't elect most of them, I'll tell you. I didn't vote for, you know, I don't vote for anybody who's for abortion in any, any sense at all. Every single Republican right now I know. is for I know. abortion. I know. They I won't, know. don't want to make it illegal. I know. They're, they're all afraid. It's like we got media. evil and we got a little bit less evil. Yeah. None of it's good. Yeah. I understand. And you know what? Who's in control? Look at our houses. Look at our churches. We have the money, the time, the energy to make it illegal. If they were killing pastors, everybody would like... They would pull their AK-47s out. Yeah. We're gonna protect our pastors. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you would. No, 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 no. So anyway, that's kind of a silly kind of argument. But, but they're killing babies and nobody cares, I, really. I know, I mean, some of us care, but I mean, you know. Well, let's make it illegal. Well, I'd love to. All right. I mean, all right. Hey, God abolish, you. abolish human yes. abortion, abolition society of Little Elm. Actually, we you know? appreciate you stop. Most won't stop and discuss it. Most, yeah, you, know, you, think, you go here? Yeah. You know yeah. how many fingers we got? Oh, well, you know. That, we appreciate you stopping is, and talking the, the to us. The church is full of human beings. Yeah. You know, that's why you get the finger, that's why you get this right. and that. So we Sorry, appreciate you society. stopping and speaking and I used to us. Be, I used to work in the media, and I left the media because it's corrupt. You know, so.